This video is to illustrate the rumble pack feature which is going to be built into the system. There's the rumble motor of course and there's a light. Um, rather than using a standard size LED, this is actually a small spare part that I found from, um, from an old unit. It's a very very flat LED uh, which doesn't interfere with the movement of the joystick uh, which of course is quite critical. Um, this is only a small test so I therefore connected a 3 volt battery to a couple of basic switches just so I can demonstrate that this concept works ok. Um, there's a the light which I'll turn over in just a sec. Um, as mentioned every time the rumble comes on that light will show. And there's a the rumble. You can hear it working. You can see a slight judder. There's actually a very good judder there. Uh, and it moves very freely inside the case. Very, very snug as you see, but it works unhindered. Because there's the two working together. Turn the system across and you can see the benefit of the joystick light. Uh, I'm just going to close the curtain very quickly. And turning it on, the light clearly comes on. So every time the rumble function, uh, the function comes along, uh, you get the light and you get the movement of the motor. In terms of positioning, the edge of the Dreamcast board will fit just short of the um, joystick, uh, which only leaves me this space to basically play with. The idea is that the controller board will sit directly on top, um, in fact just underneath the lid of the unit when installed. Uh, the space on the back here, which you can see, will have to contain the two trim boards from the controller, uh, that one and this one, and also the rumble pack board. There is plenty of space for it. It is rather snug, um, but that's the concept. 